Hi, I'm Jellybean Fitzhenry, and I have a quick little project that I think you might love trying. It's a journal page, and uh, everybody's doing journaling these days, and it's a lot of fun just to get your brushes out, do something a little bit creative, and I've got some unique brushes by Dynasty in the black gold. This is actually a set and it has three of the brushes in it that I'm going to be using on the journal page and I'm also going to use the new Stencil Pro. So you have um, a regular journal and what I do is I take the page out to paint on but I'm going to show you how I do a design and I can change it up. I don't have to keep it the same. I can just kind of let it happen as I go so be creative with your colors um, and your design. So let's start with a stencil. So I've already taken a page out so I'm going to move the book aside. Okay, and I'm going to start by using a stencil to do the words and use my Stencil Pro by Dynasty. To begin with, I've got like a 3 8 inch Stencil Pro and I'm going to fully load it with lots of paint. Now you could tape your stencil down. This happens to be one by DecoArt. And I'm going to fully load the paint into the Stencil Pro. I want it all on the inside of that uh, brush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to wipe every bit of it out. So I put it between a towel and pinch it and pull and get all the excess paint out of there. Okay, I only want the words to go down uh, the one side because I'm going to be putting design on the rest. I want to do a little bit of a swirling motion. I'm not going to pounce. I'm not going to put any pressure down. And I happen to be using the DecoArt Morning Mist. I just wanted something neutral. And you're going to see that a little goes a long way. Don't put any pressure down. Sometimes I can get the entire side and sometimes I have to reload a second time. Just a gentle little swirling. I don't mind if some of the letters are a little more transparent than others. This is just to give you some background and I just swirl one direction and another. Now as I run out of paint I might add just a little bit of pressure but certainly not when I first start otherwise I run the risk of the paint seeping underneath the lettering. And this is just an acrylic paint that I'm using. I'm almost there. You'll see I'm really able to go a long ways with one load. Okay, one more letter. Let's see if I can get that last little image. Imagination. Any kind of inspirational lettering uh, is good. And you could certainly, you know, pick your favorites and place them where you definitely want them. Now I lift the stencil and there I go. I have a nice little beginning to my piece. If I'm going to continue to use my brush, I would put it in a wet paper towel so that I was able to uh, keep reloading it and do more things. Next I'm going to show you how to use this fun whale's tail brush. And I'm going to use the DecoArt Fluid Media Paint, which is kind of like a watercolor and I'm going to really thin that down with lots of water. Now the whale's tail, you can actually use this and let it do all the work for you. So I've got some transparent and I'm going to make these outer petals. All I do is lay it down and pull. How easy is that? And just pull in towards the center of the paper. I'm going to be able to put this page right back into my journal after. Don't worry about overlapping any of the stenciled words. Those are all just background. So all I do is set the brush down and pull. Easy peasy. Then rinse that color out of there. 
Next I'm going to use another fun brush that's called a fountain brush. And this is like it has a little hole in the center of it. And for that, first I'm going to wet it. I'm going to squish it all the way down as hard as I can on my palette and spread it out. I want all those bristles to spread way out. And I'm going to dip it into the yellow and I'm just going to pounce up and down and create some texture for the center of the flower. I'm going to overlap just a little bit on the bottom of the blue. This gives you a really pretty lacy little texture for in the center of the flower. Okay, then I want to add a little bit of orange and I'm just barely going to get a little bit on just one side of the brush and I'll use that and touch it on top of the blue so that I camouflage where I stopped with the blue and then I'm going to do less and less so not pounce as hard just barely touch as I come in to do the next little row so I'll get a little gradual blend of color and look at how lacy and pretty that is and less and less and then I have my center. I'll go ahead and rinse that brush out as well. Then I want to add some white dots uh, on top of the flower also. That I'm going to use the wooden end of the brush and I'll just dip it into the white paint. Okay, and I, every time I set it down the little dots will get smaller, so I keep re-dipping. There again, kind of camouflage where you stopped with your flower petals. Gives it a nice, unique little look. Okay, and then I'll wipe that off. Next, I want to add a uh, feather, and I can do one or two feathers on this. So I could take a pencil if I wanted and draw where I want my feather lines. This looks like I have enough space for two feathers, so that's, I think, what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my Wave Angle Brush. Now, this is like you took a little pinking shears and uh, chopped off the tips of the brush so you can get some unique feather lines with this. But to start with, I'm just going to get a little bit of that blue on there and I'm going to on the tips I pull on the chisel edge and I can create my center vein where my feather is going to be so I can place where I want those feathers and then I can decide what colors I want these to be so I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the blue there again I had water in that blue so a little bit thin I'm going to load the brush Okay, now I want to get up on those very tips and, and use those to my advantage. When I pull in, don't put any pressure down. Pull from the outside in. I get these nice little feather lines. Reload as often as you need to. And I'll go all the way down till I run into the flower. Same thing on the other side. I'm pulling at an angle. It's like a 45 degree angle. Try not to put any pressure down so you get the nice little lines. And feathers come in all different shapes and sizes, so just kind of have fun. So in here, I'm going to do this. This is the angle that I'm pulling in towards the feather. So if it would help to give yourself a little guideline for direction, that would be fine. So I'm pulling in, just using the very tips, letting the brush do all the work for me. This is a 3 8 inch wave angle. And if I needed to, I could go back on top with white and, and crop some of it back off again if I got too carried away. But I'm going to add some other colors on here too. So I've got my blue go all the way down. I'll rinse that off. Okay, next I'm going to add uh, some green. 
There again, I want it a little bit thinned with some water. This is also the fluid media. It's an acrylic, but it's more transparent than most acrylics. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of color here and there, kind of skip around just to get some interest. Same with the other feather, just pulling on the tip of the brush. Not trying to do the whole thing, just want to skip around. And you decide how many colors you would like in there. I'm going to add some yellow in there also. It's just fun to be creative. You could do pinks, you could do oranges, you could do purples. You know, just have fun with your little journal page. Okay, then uh, to make it um, sparkle, I'm going to add some of this really fun metallic paint. And this is the Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. And I'm going to put some of that, and I'm not going to pay attention where I put it because it's kind of transparent. And when you hold this page in different directions, you'll just get that little bit of shimmer. And this time I'm not worried about even necessarily staying up on the tips because it's going to allow the other colors to show through. And just brush that on. Gives it a nice little shimmer. See if I can tip it a little bit, see the little shimmer you get. Now you could also add some of that if you wanted to in the center of your flower. Just go ahead kind of brush that right over some of the yellow. Just be careful of your white dots. They're a little bit wet. All right, rinse the brush. And then one more thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to use what is called um, the fountain brush again and this time I'm going to make circles throughout the background and they could be any color I want them to be. So I'm going to, there again, I squish it down on the palette, give it a twist. I want to make sure that all those bristles are sticking out nicely. I'll add some yellow ones first, so I'll get some yellow, kind of dab off the extra. Now this time when I put my brush straight down on the paper and I squish, I'm going to twist in a circle and I get circles, dots. Now, if I want um, littler ones, I'm not going to push down so hard. Bigger ones, I'm going to push down harder. And don't be afraid to go over some of the lettering. Do a variety of shapes or sizes. And I'm overlapping on the other side as well. Squish it down, give it a twist. It's a really unique brush. So it's a good stippling brush and it's a good little circle maker. And you can go back over any of them that you weren't happy with. Not a problem. Don't avoid the letters. Go ahead and let this blend into some of them. Okay, and then I want to just add a few more colors. So I will get some blue ones in there, I think. Get some blue. This time I'm going to dab the extra off. Squish and twist. And not as much pressure to get some smaller ones. Don't be afraid to let the circles overlap. You want a variety, nice little interest. Just twist it all the way around. And just as many as you feel you, you like. Then I'm going to add some smaller ones with the wooden end of the brush. And I'll do some orange and just dot throughout the background. You can see this is a pretty quick little project to do. Just need the right tools. Okay, then all that is left on here is to add some more little sparkle and maybe some little gems. I'm going to go back to the wave angle again and I'm going to get some of that metallic gold on there and this time all I'm going to do is create some little like snowflake sparkles. I set the brush down to create a little bit of a wavy line 
and I just crisscross to make little sparkles. So I'm going to add those throughout wherever I would like. A little bit extra glimmer. Just set it down. I'm not pulling it. I just press and lift. Create those little irregular lines. It makes really great little snowflakes. Little shimmer sparkle lines. And that's the wave angle. And I could really do those in any colors that I wanted to. Then to finish it off, you could add little flowers right on top of the uh, feather, uh, little rhinestones, whatever you would like, and then you're able to put this page right back into your journal. So I hope you've enjoyed and inspired you by this quick little project. Thank you.